you're not worthless. You're not a failure. You don't need to reinvent your life and wake up at 6 a.m. tomorrow, okay? You are just where you need to be. You're just a little bit overstimulated. I am so sorry for the background of this video being a little bit overstimulating. The reason why it's like that is because this is where I share ways I'm getting my shit together so that you can get your shit together. Besties, if you're new here, I'm Natalie and I just had a mental breakdown. Lovely that that's how I started this YouTube video. Hi, future job offers. Um, no, but in all seriousness, I feel like a lot of us are craving authenticity in these types of videos because in reality, not every single YouTuber has everything together. We all have off weeks. We all have times where we're overstimulated. We all have breakdowns at some points. You are normal. Okay, you don't have to be going and looking up what mental disorder you have and self-diagnosing yourself online. Been there, done that. You might be a little bit neurodivergent if you watch my channel, but that's okay. We don't judge here. The first thing we're gonna do is a body scan. And I did this myself and it was something that really, really helped me get back to center because right now you're thinking of all these different things. You feel like you're worth nothing. You feel like nothing you do ever matters. You feel like a failure, whatever you feel. We're just gonna do a body scan, okay? I want you to stop and take a deep breath with me. Hold. One, two, three. Exhale. Where do you feel the tension in your body? Maybe it's in your jaw. Maybe it's in the back of your head. Maybe it's your temples. It might even be your back or your lower back. Your chest might be feeling really heavy. Just identify where in your body this tension is. And wherever it is, I just want you to touch it. So what I did earlier today is my jaw was clenched because when I have anxiety, my jaw clenches. So if you're doing that right Right now, I just want you to simply unclench your jaw and then grab your hands, okay? And then we're just gonna rub your hands together. Breathe in, exhale. And then you're just going to take your hands and you're going to just push all the way up in your head. And yes, your jaw is affected by your head, so you're just gonna push just like this. I look a little silly right now, but that's okay. We're doing it together. Release your jaw and then just drag your hands all the way down your neck. This is something that really helps me when I'm feeling a little bit overstimulated. I have a little bit of anxiety. I deal with a lot of social anxiety, and so when I'm in overcrowded areas, sometimes I do this too, just like hitting your hands. It just allows you to bring this energy from your mental state back into your body, and that's one thing that really helps me. Now that we've done that, I want you to know that everything that's behind me, all of the clutter, is a reflection of my own mind. And this is what I notice when my mind is super, super overactive. My space gets a little bit cluttered. I might make my bed, yet my dresser will have a lot of makeup or something on it. Whatever the case is, I just won't have time to really put things away and declutter what is going on. I encourage you while watching this video to do something to take your mind off of what's going on, whether that's coloring or you can even start cleaning your room while watching this video. In a moment here, I'm gonna show you guys me decluttering some of my space and it doesn't take that much time. It just makes you feel a little bit better. And I'm sorry if my voice is shaking a little bit. Sometimes when I have anxiety in my own body, that's how it you know, externalizes. So just know you're not alone, okay? You're not alone in feeling extremely overstimulated or you just watched something that really made you feel this urgency to get your life together and that you're behind in life. You're not behind in life. Okay, even these YouTubers you watch have their own struggles. They might not be able to make their bed in the mornings, but they're showing you their kitchen because they literally can't get up and they are bed rotting themselves. You guys gotta realize that there's more than just what you see on social media. We are growing up in a time where we always feel the sense of impending doom, climate change, the world is dying, the presidents are gonna kill us. I don't know, like we literally cannot think that anything else is going on when we're catastrophizing our own lives, that's when we need to just take a rest, take a break, and drink a glass of water or grab your Stanley that that influencer convinced you to buy. I don't know, just drink out of it, okay? Use it. The influencer influenced you for a reason. Use the, drink the water.
Without further ado, I'm going to clean. And as I clean, I'm going to bring you guys through the process of things that just help me, okay? This is the current state of my room. And these were my drawers before. This is one of the drawers I haven't cleaned out yet, but this is what I cleaned it into. We got some cotton swabs, some other stuff. But as you guys can see, there's some spaces that I just need to wipe down and make a little bit cleaner because there's a little bit of dust, but at least I have some flowers. If you're watching this video and you happen to be in a depression pit number one release the shame okay i'm not judging you i've been there but number two focus on one thing okay whether that's getting the dishes out of your room or just getting a big trash bag and just starting to throw away anything that you don't need do not i repeat do not focus on the drawers and all of the clutter that is in your closet okay start small all i want you to do today is take your dishes from your room to the sink. If you happen to have a little bit more time, clean your bed sheets, okay? That's something that helps a lot when it comes to overstimulation. Those are just some tips I have for you if your room is a little bit more extreme than mine. Let's just get straight into it, okay? I lit a candle. That way, the aroma is smelling a little bit better. It's not as stuffy. You can also open a window if you feel called to do that, okay. Why am I keeping this 15% off coupon from Windsor that literally expired summer of 2023? Babe, what is this? I'm gonna use it. You can't use it. It's expired. With every single drawer, I'm taking out all of the trash and just things I'm not using. Also, in some of my drawers, I have like random lotions or things that I know I'm going to give for like Christmas presents. Take those, put them in a bag and put them in your closet. Don't have them in your drawers because then it's just taking up space. If your junk drawers happen to look like this where there's a lot of different things that have no correlation, just divide it into sections. So you see these hair scrunchies, I'm gonna deal with the hair products first. These little sample testers are empty so throw them away if they're empty throw it away I just filled a basket of all things that I can take to my bathroom because they have no business being in my room for example things like Pepto-Bismol tanning oil we're going into winter babe Something I want to talk about as I declutter is black and white thinking within the self-improvement space. For example, you don't have to reinvent your life or implement a drastic change out of nowhere in order to be making improvements. And I think a lot of times we start these challenges like, like 75 hard or like, you know, us setting out on these drastic goals when in reality, we're not actually going to meet those goals because we set ourselves up for failure by doing so and I want to take the time to ask you guys like a real question like one-on-one -on -one, would you guys want to be able to do like a 21 day challenge together where we get our shit together as a community like something where we all come together and we all use every single day to just improve one small thing instead of like having these super harsh challenges where it's like who has the time first of all and second of all who has the willpower like genuinely who has the willpower to execute these things in all honesty like like not these influencers who are just coming on and acting like they're doing it, but like truly executing 75 hard or something like that. Because I feel like a lot of us can see through it because a lot of these influencers aren't actually doing what they say they're doing. They're just painting the picture like they're doing it. Like, I'm not gonna lie, my attention span is just like y'all's, you know? Like, we are all in the same generation, we are all dealing with the same exact problems of being overwhelmed and overstimulated by all this different content. So let me know down in the comments if that's something you would want or be interested in. Also DM me on my Instagram. Not me finding my IUD certification. <laughs> no, but like, this is one of those things where it's like, should I keep it or should I throw it away? Because it's just a piece of paper that says Paragard but like, do I need it? You know what I mean? Do I need to like prove? Like if it messes up, do I have to go to the doctor and be like, sir, please, this was not a part of the plan. <laughs> like, <laughs> I don't know. I'm, I'm irrationally gonna keep it just in case, just in case. Something else that I really wanna talk about is a lot of people glorify this idea of self-help when their life looks exactly like what your life does or very similar. I'm not gonna say exactly because obviously you're an individual person and da 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 nuance, 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 whatever, whatever. But basically, what I'm saying is they have to clean up things too. 
you know, they get dust in their room too. They have a little bit of clutter here and there too. Not to mention, not everyone's brains work the same and not everyone is dealing with the same amount of space. You know what I mean? For example, I have to do so much to keep my closet organized because I'll show you guys later, but my closet is really small. And that's not me complaining or anything. That's just how my life is and how I have to maneuver around these different challenges. Whereas someone who has this like nice sky rise apartment with this huge closet, Closet, they might be more incentivized to keep it clean. You have to create systems that work for you and sometimes that takes time and you're not weird or abnormal for having a little bit more mess occasionally just because you have to deal with, you know, different things. A lesson I've really learned recently is you can't do more until you really appreciate what you're currently doing. Like this desire you have to do more is really a manifestation of your own desire to accept where you're at. Sometimes the solution is not to do more, it's to appreciate what you're currently doing and see the value in what you currently provide to your life. My phone just died, so this video is going to be lovely to edit, but just to pick back up right where I left off, a lot of times we are students, right? We are workers. We are working customer service jobs. We are doing as much as we possibly can for where we're currently at in life. And I know you might wanna expand and do more, but sometimes you're not actually recognizing all the effort you're putting into things is why you've reached this accumulation of feeling like nothing you do is enough, you know? Like you are not acknowledging that what you're doing is enough. And that's in no way to make you feel complacent and make you feel like what I'm doing is fine, but also realize that you're never going to be able to sustain doing more if you can't acknowledge first and foremost that you have priorities too and you have to feel valued in order to want to do more. You have to have an incentive in order to get to that point in your life. It is possible to want to do more and also recognize that where you're at is good. Okay, you can't be more unless you recognize the ways in which you're currently already trying to do more. And if you're not trying to do more, then that's just, you know, your anxiety you're feeling is just a reminder that, hey, you can and that desire will then alchemize and you can take that and apply it to your life. But first and foremost, you need to just make yourself feel safe, right? Like you need to worry about you first before you worry about what you're going to accomplish. You come first, whether you're actually using your potential or not. And if you're not using your potential, that's solely because like you are still not putting yourself first. Like if you put yourself first, everything would fall into place. At least that's what I've noticed in my life. I can work 10 times harder if I just take one one day to reset and you know do the mundane tasks not let all of these different things pile up in my own life i know i can do more if i just first start with the little things and then build from that you're normal and you're doing what you need to be doing and if nobody else has told you i'm so proud of you okay Okay, besties, we're now switching gears. As you can tell, this is the current state of my dresser, but we just have some random things that, you know, you're tempted to shove in drawers, but I challenge you to instead find a place for it to go. See, this is an air freshener thing. This should go like, I don't know, somewhere else. Like it should go in a different junk drawer, not the drunk drawer, not the drawer in my room. <laughs> I wonder how much of this I'm actually gonna keep in. Look at how big the trash bag I've accumulated is. I'm so proud of myself. One thing I feel a lot of us get in the habit in is giving other people grace, but not giving ourselves that same grace. It's okay to revisit things at a later date when you're a little bit more clear-headed, especially in the world we live in, especially during this time of the year, during the holidays. We might be going back and seeing family. You know, a lot of people might not share our political beliefs but what I'm here to do is just let you know that all of those concerns are valid and you don't have to be anywhere but where you're at right now with the way that algorithms work it can be easy to get into this idea that like if we don't take action we're never going to be successful when success comes over time you can see how it will unfold but that doesn't mean that you have to take immediate action and be where you want to be tomorrow you don't I like to think about about the big tasks when I'm really inspired and I'm more so in a dreamy mood where I'm manifesting and writing down all of the different things I want to do in my life. But when I'm overwhelmed, I actually want to think about the small tasks, you know, like what am I going to do tomorrow? What is the next step? We don't have to think about 10 steps down the line because 
that's not relevant for right now. Right now, all we're doing is just making sure that you're okay. Are all of your bases covered, you know? Did you eat today? Did you drink enough water? If everything is getting a little bit too much, you know, maybe go on a walk and just take your mind off of some of the things that are going on. It's okay to acknowledge when everything is too much. I'm really hoping that this video isn't too chaotic because I know there's points where I make funny jokes and then go into like the serious mode where I talk about something that's on my mind. That's really Really just how my brain works and this is also helping me at the same exact time as helping you so I'm sorry if it's not like the most calming video I'm literally just sharing with you guys my stream of consciousness I really wanted this video to more so be like a friend talking to you while she's cleaning her room rather than a youtuber who's telling you how to get your life together you know what I mean this isn't even part of a sponsored video but I genuinely use this a lot when I'm having anxiety it's a fume basically it's a flavored air device or whatever I literally had a sponsored video of this, but like that this video isn't sponsored, but it somehow interrelates to it. I don't know. I just really like this because usually when we're super anxious, we hit the vape, right? And this is an alternative that's not nicotine, so that helps me. And just like that, we are moving on to folding some laundry. I just did a load of laundry, so I got out my clothes. I know a lot of people give the advice of like, call a friend when you're feeling like super out of sorts, but I don't know if it's just my trust issues or like, I genuinely cannot do that. And this is in no way me giving personal advice to like, stop what you're doing right now if you're about to call a friend because you're super, super anxious and you're about to crash out. Like obviously use your support system, but I think this this is just a personal issue like I'm totally the therapist friend like literally my friends will always come to me and be like Natalie what should I do about this what should I do about that but like when it comes to my own problems at least like when I'm actually freaking out because when I crash out baby I crash out hard okay but usually I just keep it all together or I'll crash out on my own and I'll be like oh my god that's so embarrassing anyways but like you know what I mean like uh... <laughs> I guess I'll just like have one day where I'll allow my mental state to like be bad and then I'll move on and be like, oh, I was being a little bit dramatic. Anyways, kind of just giving myself the space to feel the emotion because if I genuinely cannot solve a problem, like yes, I'll call my friends. I do have wonderful friends. I have an amazing support system, but simultaneously, I'm not gonna call them about like me crashing out over the smallest thing. Like I will crash out because someone cut me off on the road. You know what I mean? Like I will crash out and literally go into a panic attack because I like saw someone I knew from high school or something. It's so funny because it's like, why am I crashing out about that? Like, who cares? But in my own little mind, like somehow I rationalize certain things and I'll just need to like let it out. And usually it's never really about the actual thing that sets me off. It's always some underlying issue. And that's what I want you to really ask yourself. Not me turning this into a therapy session, but like genuinely sometimes like when you're crashing out over one small thing, sometimes it's just because everything has been adding up and you've just been pushing it off for so long. So like if you're at that point, none of the things that you are currently worrying about is going to matter. You know what I mean? Like, here's how I deal with mental breakdowns. I break down, I don't think about anything else but the breakdown because in the moment, if you don't release the energy, where's it gonna go? It's gonna be bottled up until it, you have to release it again. And then usually you release it onto someone else and you don't wanna like yell at someone and be like, damn, like that was excessive. <laughs> you know what I mean? You don't wanna do that, but you just wanna be able to be raw and authentic with yourself. So obviously release the emotion and prioritize yourself and then move into this period of reflection and usually I do this by actually doing a task that makes me feel like I'm doing something productive with my day. I understand that most of you watching this probably have jobs or, you know, different things you do in life. I'm still in school and everything, but, you know, YouTube is my job. So sometimes it's easy for me to just not think about anything and just edit a video and kind of just lock in. And that's what I think caused this little, like, mini breakdown I had today because I was trying to overwhelm myself and I wasn't really prioritizing the basics because I've literally just, like, been in my room and I know it's corny and reductive but sometimes the solution is literally just to like go outside and touch some grass for like 20 minutes and then you'll be fine. I feel like life is about finding a balance of when to say it's not that deep and when to actually acknowledge when it actually is deep which usually is never. 
but that small percentage of the time when it actually is deep and you have to look at the underlining meanings of things, that's when you have to like journal about it. And if you're at that point, you know, journal, do your big one. Recognize the emotion for what it is. The day you're having right now, I promise you, especially if it's earlier in the day, the entire day is not bad. Don't make one thing ruin your entire day. But everything happens for a reason until it doesn't happen for a reason. There's some things that just suck and you move on and you figure out how to cope with it. All right, you guys, the audio might be a little bit messed up because I'm using the regular camera audio, but I just wanted to say that my room is all clean. I really hope this video helped you as it helped me. I feel like sometimes we get so cluttered in our own lives that we forget it's just one step after the other. And the more we can remember that in times where we're feeling super chaotic, the easier it's going to be over time. Sorry about the audio at the end of this clip here, but thank you guys so much for tuning in. Be sure to like this video, subscribe, and check out all my social medias. We're almost to 10K on Instagram, so if you guys would like to see more lifestyle content, be sure to check it out. And with that being said, I hope you guys have a wonderful day. Be easy on yourself and take care.